Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. One year ago, I was banned from Twitter for posting this Pfizer document. Climate alarmists celebrated the censorship, calling the Pfizer document a COVID conspiracy. The management at Twitter apparently believed it was very important that the public not be informed with accurate information. They labeled accurate information as being disinformation. Yesterday, the new management at Twitter under Elon Musk restored my account after a year's absence. But unfortunately, the account is still suffering from the same shadow banning techniques which the old management implemented. Elon Musk has promised to correct this in the future. Here's a good example of the shadow banning. I made this tweet yesterday. Zen just opened his eyes. But Twitter blocked the image saying, the following media includes potentially sensitive content. Now let's take a look at the same tweet on my other account, which I started using after Elon Musk purchased Twitter. I don't think that even the most woke person could be offended by this picture unless they see pets as being a threat to the climate. Twitter had been blocking my images for years because I post a lot of graphs and charts which dispute the climate scam. Twitter safety apparently believed that it's unsafe for people to be exposed to the truth. Twitter didn't like me showing graphs like this, showing how U.S. temperature data had been massively manipulated to turn a cooling trend into a warming trend. And that's why climate alarmists celebrated the suspension of my account. Last week, the European Union threatened to ban Twitter in Europe because they are very afraid of free speech. Since then, several journalists have been posting the real-time location of Elon Musk's family in hopes that people will either intimidate or hurt them. This is a violation of Twitter's policies, which Elon Musk described as assassination coordinates. So Elon Musk suspended the accounts of several people claiming to be journalists for a few days. He has since lifted the suspension. And the same European Union, which was last week demanding more censorship, now is threatening to take action against Twitter for temporarily suspending the accounts of some journalists who violated the Twitter terms of use. In other words, the European Union is for censorship of their political opponents, while supporting dangerous misbehavior by their allies. CNN was outraged that one of their alleged journalists was suspended for a few days for violating the terms of service. That's the same CNN which last year celebrated the censorship of millions of conservatives because of their political beliefs. Elon Musk responded by saying, So inspiring to see the newfound love of freedom of speech by the press. And the deranged response of the left has been very predictable. Journalists were posting the exact location of Elon Musk's family, putting them in danger. Left-wing advocates responded with tweets like this. During the January 6, 2021 riot at the U.S. Capitol, Representative Lauren Boebert posted this. We are locked in the House chambers, and then the Speaker has been removed from the chambers. Left-wing advocate Shannon Watts described this as actual assassination coordinates. I wonder how she deduced the coordinates of the House Speaker based on the fact that she was not in the House of Representative chambers at the U.S. Capitol. She could have been anywhere in Washington, D.C. When 9-11 occurred, it was reported by the press that top government officials had left Washington, D.C. Under Shannon Watt's definition, that was providing assassination coordinates. Under her way of thinking, the fact that you can't find your car keys in the kitchen tells you exactly where the car keys actually are. President Kennedy didn't have anything good to say about the censorship which Democrats now embrace. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. Toto has watched the Democratic Party fall a long ways over the last 60 years. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, Upala, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.